What's up everyone, welcome to Alice Academy. Today's video is going to be about how you need to prepare yourself for the coding round in the interview process. Well, coding to be precise is very easy, but you guys might gonna say that since I'm an IT guy, so it's easy for me to say that. Well, actually it's not, because the amount of coding that an IT or a CAC guy does is quite the, or nearly the same as the amount of coding that the other branch guys does. But the only difference is that we guys, uh, you know, deal with one of more programming languages more than you guys do so the steps to analyze a coding questions are number one read the question very thoroughly and very carefully because everything is given in the coding question like the input that you need to provide in your code and the output that you will produce everything is given over there and just never ever think of writing the code just by seeing the question just you saw the question and you th start thinking about what are the exact lines, what are the syntax of my coding language what you, th that you'll be using. Don't think of that. Just read the question, understand it well enough, think of what are the things that you need as an input and what it will produce and what are the steps that it can have. Just keep thinking about that. And secondly, in the second step, take a paper and draw your imaginations on the paper. Now what I mean by draw your imaginations? Like suppose if you're asked to uh, you know, solve a bubble short question, the easiest one. So what you wanna do is that you need an array for that, right? So if you need an array in your coding question, so draw the array on that paper. And if you need iterations on that array in order to come to your desired result, then draw the array, modified array after every iteration on that paper and see the changes that you need to do. Develop the changes on the paper. Because doing so will not only simplify your coding process or reduce the time that you need to code, but also will disclose to you some of the minor errors that remains in your code, which won't be easily discoverable to you if you are like start, start to code without proper preparation and you will end up unable to complete the code within that given time. Well, now comes the third step that is you finally write the code, but still there can be chances of errors in your code. See, I'm not talking about those compile time errors because of some syntax errors in your code, but about runtime errors. I'm talking about runtime errors. Like your program is not producing the exact output that or the desired output that you need to produce. It means that there are some errors in the values that your variables are storing. So how you're gonna recognize those errors? After every section of your code, try to use a print statement and check whether the values that your variables are storing are even correct or not. Like for example, after taking the inputs, use a print statement and see whether the uh, variables that are storing your input values are correct or not. After normalizing the inputs, check whether the inputs are normalized or not by using a print statement. Now what I mean by normalizing? Well, I will talk about that later in the video. So do this after every section of your code and you will come to know where the actual problem is. Like, is it inside a for loop or a while loop or is it just after that or is it just before printing the exact output where the problem is, you'll come to know about that. So these are the three steps that you need to follow every time you code. And for you guys, I have developed a coding question set. How couldn't I have I done that? I developed a coding question set which does not contain those basic questions that are already been taught to you in your institution, but it contains, uh, you know, a bit tricky but not at all hard questions. And if you start doing those questions, I'm, I guarantee you guys that it will provide you with an exact idea about how you need to think while you are coding. What will be the exact way of your thinking, how you need to project that so that you, you know, it is very easy for you to develop the logic and so that you come to the exact output of the code in a very limited amount of time. And you guys might find that in the question set that I have given, some of the questions are already known to you. In those cases, I, you know, advise you don't skip those questions, but code the same question with another programming language that you are familiar with. Because coding needs to be practiced more than it needs to be learned. And if you ask me, then I'll say that you need to code for like half an hour on every alternate days and that will be enough for you. What I mean is that you need to be consistent with your coding. Just it's may not, it should not be something like you coded today and after one month you again started coding. This is not gonna help you. But code for every alternate days for at least half an hour or if you're coding today and then after two days or three days you are coding, Whatever be the number of days you're coding per week, make that consistently. Again, my point, if you're coding for like twice a week, then do it for every other week. And if you keep doing that on a consistent basis, then I'm guaranteeing you that by the end of the semester that you are in, you will see a completely new you in terms of coding. Well, now let's talk about the most important part in the video that is normalizing the inputs. As I talked earlier in the video at this time, you can go and check if you missed. So what is normalizing the inputs? 
what can happen to you is that in your coding interview you coded everything everything is working super fine but you will see that you are not selected for the next round or you are rejected in this coding round you are not scoring well why because of another major thing that is test cases and in order to satisfy this test cases you need to normalize your inputs but how to do that i'll be talking about that in the upcoming video in the part 2 of this coding interview preparation video stay tuned for that don't forget to watch that so stay subscribed so that you don't miss the upcoming video most important video in the series and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button over there share this video among your friends and also to tell me in the comments that the question set that i gave you is it fruitful to you guys or not wo feedback mujhe dena taki mujhe pata chale how i need to improve the question set and with that said till then i may upload my next video stay happy stay blessed and सब्सक्राइब कर देना ताकि तुम अगला वीडियो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होने वाला है वो वीडियो लाइक द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इन योर इंटरव्यू सीरीज वीडियो डोंट फॉरगेट टू वॉच दैट वीडियो स्टे सब्सक्राइब कीप वॉचिंग आयल्स कर थैंक यू